In this video, I'm going to be showing you how new research has broken what we think about secure web gateways and how they work at protecting us. But to do that, we'll start with looking at what a secure web gateway actually is. Everything is timestamped down below, so feel free to skip ahead if you're already familiar. So, a secure web gateway is basically a security solution that protects users from web-based threats by monitoring and filtering internet traffic. It works by enforcing company policies and blocking malicious websites, inappropriate content or unauthorized applications. So when a user basically tries to access the internet, the SWG checks the URL or web request against its database of known threats, scans for malware and ensures compliance with security policies. Further on from this, it's important to know that SWIGs observe the information on the network layer, which basically doesn't give them context of user interaction, web app context or even context from the browser tab or window that the request is coming from. So that basically opens them up to exploits from different types of attacks. And all of this is based on findings by a company called SquareX who released their information to the public at DEF CON this year. I've already done a video on SquareX in the past, so if you're interested on that, it will be linked above as they developed isolation technology that created remote disposable browsers and file viewers in the cloud, allowing you to open any link or document without getting infected by malware. And now they've moved on to their latest findings, which is breaking secure web gateways and opening up their findings on the last mile reassembly attack. So let's try to break that down. Basically what SquareX is saying is that attackers can orchestrate a host of client side attacks and these can't be detected on the network layer. They're also saying that attackers can exploit channels that are unmonitored or difficult to monitor by secure web gateways. Finally, attackers can also orchestrate any of the reassembly techniques on a website that they control. So let's look at this in a more practical use case to see how SquareX have found what they found. They identified a number of attacks where secure web gateways fail and attackers can bypass them. So for example, you've got things like file chunking attacks, which an attacker can break a file into different parts or chunks and fetch them separately. The secure web gateway sees multiple network requests for these parts, but doesn't realize that all these parts will be reassembled in a specific order. So the complete file will be malicious, but the individual parts are not. Another one is also unmonitored channels. So as you can see on the screen, as secure web gateways do not support the inspection of certain protocols, that their best practice often asks enterprises to basically block these protocols entirely, which can then hinder functionality of the websites that rely on them. So in the first attack that you'll see on the screen now, malware is being transferred over WebRTC protocol. As secure web gateways don't inspect their WebRTC traffic, so any malware can now freely flow through. As you can see, the document is being checked and virus total and 41 engines are detecting it as malicious, which is then evading our secure web gateway. Further examples include WebSockets, WebTransport and gRPC. Attackers can exploit these channels to send malicious file contents and drop the malware on the client side. They are bypassing even sophisticated enterprise security products, which are meant to safeguard entire companies that they're spending millions and millions of pounds and dollars on. So if you're interested in seeing more of this and other types of attacks where secure web gateways fail, check the link in the description below. The answer to these failures is therefore for enterprises to adopt a browser native security solution. And one example being SquareX solution, it runs directly in the browser. So it can detect and mitigate such threats that we've already just mentioned in this video. And since the attack payload forms in the browser, security solutions should definitely run in the browser as well. This is changing a lot of core thought processes that we've had over a number of years. So this is great research and findings by SquareX. And they're currently running pilots of this new solution. So if you're interested in checking that out and you want to join, head to the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, do give a like down below and don't forget to join our Discord community where we discuss all things cybersecurity from beginners to people who are already experts. Liking the video really helps it out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content so do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are.